Hello everyone, it's Steve here at Barwell UK Average Supplies and in today's video I'd like to speak um, about the Badger Patriot 105 a update to our previous uh, video which was done just over a year ago and this is how the 105 comes it has a black outer sleeve and then inside there is a brown cardboard box with the foam insert you get with the airbrush you get the um, airbrush leaflet which shows how the airbrush goes together in the order it goes together and details of this um, can be found in our videos on our channel the 105 comes as a 0.5 setup and this can be told by the end of the needle this has a blue end which um, as I've said denotes it's a 0.5 airbrush this is considered a general purpose uh, airbrush because it is a 0.5 and in my opinion and lots of other people's opinions for several reasons this is one of the best um, general purpose airbrushes on the market the parts the tips and everything comes apart so easily it is easy to look after and it is one of the airbrushes that we do use in our workshops the Badger Patriot 105 um, is one that um, we do use in the workshop as I've just mentioned and it uh, works extremely well um, user friendly, beginner friendly and it does work really well um, with this 105 airbrush um, we can just use the paint straight out of the bottle and uh, one of the uh, points that uh, people keep making in our workshops and uh, more the beginners workshop is what hair pressure do you need uh, for painting well my uh, question to that is what are you painting and um, what paints are you using generally you would like to be painting around 14 psi here which is totally different to what it will be saying on your compressor. The gauge on your compressor is probably reading 25 to 30 psi, but this is something you will have to learn when you're using your own paints. But for our paints, and we use the Badger paints, in this case it is the miniature air paint, and we can use this straight from the bottle and we want to be around 14, 15 PSI. Now, an easy way for a beginner to work out um, what 14 PSI will be here and not on the compressor is just hold your hand flat on the table, don't tense it or just keep it nice and relaxed on the table, hold the airbrush around four inches away from your hand and it should lightly indent the skin. You don't want it pushing your skin in, just gently pushing the skin down a little bit and that is from about four inch um, and I'm sorry I don't know what that is in centimetres but I'll edit it in the film when I edit the film. Um, and then with this airbrush Um, 
and keep in mind this is very very cheap paper the it is not for testing the paints to see how they're going to paint it is just to test and have practice with your airbrush um, to test how the paint's going to behave onto a proper surface then you would find some proper um, if in this case it's going to be paper you would find some proper airbrush paper or some canvas if you're painting onto models then you will find an old piece of um, a sprue or an old piece of a model just to test and see how the paint's going to actually behave because the paint will behave, behave differently onto different surfaces uh, the reason for that is this paper will all, uh, always absorb but if it's cheap paper it tends to disperse the paint a little more than what the more expensive paint paper will do and if you're going to paint on a hard surface such as plastic or resins or whatever please check your airbrush on that but to have a piece of paper to see how your airbrush is going to behave if it's actually painting correctly is a good idea and with the 105 you can get down to some detail with practice but this does take a little practice and knowing your paints and knowing your airbrush but with the 105 you can also get your good coverage and the uh, 105 um, is sold on our website I'll leave a link in the description below if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and uh, we will answer your queries or comments as quickly as we can thank you for watching